Well, we've arrived at Land's End. There is no more land, I promise. We're going in search of a shipwreck today in a, a very special cove. Okay, we're following the cliff path up. We think the shipwreck is somewhere around the corner here. Ever up would we go? Climbing these steps. Don't know what lies on, well, beyond here. Oh, wow, look at this. I think we're getting closer to this shipwreck site. Apologies if the audio is bad, but it's really windy today. Oh my goodness, there it is. There it is. There's the information about the wreck. The wreck site lies just beyond here. It's very river-like going down here. I've worn me, uh, my drift shoes today with hardly any grip on. Nearly there guys. There's so much spray in the air today, it's crazy. These waves are monsters. So ever closer to this wreck, the metal under your feet, it all moves and all the rocks move as well. So you have to be cautious. It's like carnage here. Yeah, so this is a pretty big uh, site. It doesn't look big from the top of the cliff, but there's quite a bit of stuff down here to explore. I'm gonna try and get on board in a minute and see <laughs> see what's in this ship. I don't think there'll be any salvage. Yeah, the sea is pretty angry today. There's some huge waves coming, there's a lot of spray. So I think I'm gonna get a lot of moisture on the camera lens, so I'll keep wiping it off. Here comes another big wave. I've just seen a big hole of the ship here. I think it's split in half. I'm gonna see if I can get inside here. Here's these huge waves that are coming in. Look at that one over there. It just blocked out the lighthouse. Wowzers. So this is a twisted wreckage. It looks like you can actually go through it. I can see uh, daylight out through there, look. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're actually inside, inside the ship. There's rocks inside here as well. They must get smashed up through when the, obviously the rough seas come in here. Oh, whoa, look at this. That's pretty atmospheric. Okay, so going through, there's twisted metal everywhere. I'm taking me time here. It's slippery metal as well. Looks like we've come out the other side, yeah? Crikey, look at that. It's right up. So that's where we just came through. You can actually look up, right up inside the ship here. I'm gonna drop out through here now. This looks like the other side. Looks so like we can go around the corner here and see the other part of the ship. Oh, I think that's the anchor down there. <laughs> What's left of it. Just this huge side of the ship, look. Going right out. So yeah, it's well worth, to, well worth a visit here. It's a lot bigger when you're up close to it. Doesn't look that impressive from the uh, top of the cliffs, but 
It's a big old wreck, this one. It's more debris to the to the right of the wreck. It's been really torn apart, this ship. We've arrived at a, an unknown location and there's a seal in the sea out there I can just see bobbing up and down. <laughs> We're on our way to this special cove now where the sun is going to align in about an hour and a half. We've just covered a half a mile into this journey I do hope it's worth it. Some incredible caves there in the distance. They could be ones to check out on another day. Amazing uh, coast around here. I think we might be here. Very annoyingly, the sun has just disappeared behind a big haze. And I don't know if it's going to come back out, but I think this is the cove here. So I want to drop down and I'll report right back in a moment. Okay, so this is definitely the place. We spied three adits out along the cliff path. We won't be able to do them today, unfortunately, but we can put them on the list for next time. Well, we've touched down on the beach nearly. This is the first adit. Well, we think it's an adit. Not sure where it goes. Oh, it doesn't go anywhere. Just a dead end. So with that mine out of the way, there's two more up on the side here, but I think we're heading to the left side of the beach. I think the coves go through here, possibly. It's a nice little wooden uh, set of steps going down here. Well, there it is in the distance. I don't know how much. I think that water's coming from the seaside. It seems to be pouring out through the tunnel. I'm just going to try and get down a bit closer to those beautiful turquoise waters. They look very inviting. There's sea foam blowing around in the back there. We'll get a zoom shot in a minute. Whoa, there's a big wave coming in. The sun disappeared today, it didn't set through the gap. Maybe one day uh, I'll capture it on film. Next time on Street Zips. It's the start of my week off. The weather's being awful, it's raining at the moment. I've just checked the forecast though for tonight, it's a really high tide. I think it's about half past seven and there's like this massive uh, like storm warning coming, like 40 mile an hour winds and stuff. Yeah, man, don't you think you're that shot? Uh, uh. No, I've got, I've got a hole in my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> so we can go on the top bit of wall, can't we? Keep getting, um, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is crazy. 